What to do this shit with Hot Boy Spiffy, Water Boy Spiffy, Mr. Poppy, whatever you want to call me. I just jumped off the pole with Dirty Girl, Bastard, Long Little Guy. You. I'm taking dry to eat it, pain, this shit ain't working. And don't know how to feel, cause I just lost my dog. Alright, so we got my boy. Hot Boy Spiffy jumping yeah. off the porch with us today. Welcome, man. What's going on, my guy? I'm feeling great. How about yourself today? I'm cool. Yeah, man. Welcome, bro. Appreciate that. Appreciate yeah. that. Out the port with it, man. Long little guy. For sure, man. Uh, you got anything else planned while you're here in the land, or you just drove up here for this, or what else you got shaking? Man? No, I don't really got nothing planned. I got a show tonight. One phone down there making, yeah. So I'm gonna hit the road after I leave here. Okay. Get back down to it. You've been doing a lot of shows lately, since the nah, project dropped and all that. Or? Really been slow. Most I just dropped, like when I dropped. In March, right? Yeah. Yeah, March. I really I supposed to drop in January, but I had a. It, it got held back. Hmm. I, I had to um, go through some process with the beats and get some beats cleared. But other than that, though, we got it. It's on the road now, though. So y'all go screen back in that mode, you know what I'm saying, on all platforms. You know what I'm saying, tune in. For sure, man. Yeah, we're going to get to the project, the music, all that. Yeah, fact. But, man, first, talk about where you're from, man. Gordon, Georgia, bro. Yeah. First one from Gordon to make it to these steps, man. Fact. So I need you to fill me in, fill our viewers in. Yeah. You know, what be going on down there, man? We're really small, like. Ain't, no, ain't too many people dying up for real though. Like everybody know everybody, like mm. everybody, you feel me? So everybody went to one school, you know what I'm saying? It's like six counties though, in Wilkinson County, I'm from Gordon, but it's like six other counties that's considered Wilkinson County though. Okay. But, yeah. And you guys are close to Macon, right? Yeah, it's okay. it like, like a 25 minute drive. Okay, so you spent, would you say you spent a lot of time in Macon then, like growing nah, up? Like no, nah, I was in Gordon. Like, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Not even to go shopping, nothing like that? Oh, yeah, that's where we went and got our clothes from, though. Like, ain't no mall. Like, we don't got no restaurant for real. So, you know, go up the road. So, yeah. For sure, man. So, like, going back to your childhood, like, what were you into as a kid? Were you into sports? Were you always into music? Or what was you doing? I ain't even go cap it down, to be honest. I was lonely, AK. I was up on him, really. Like, I just grew up. Like, I grew up with kids, though. Like, my grandma was a babysitter. Like, she was a neighborhood babysitter. So, mm. all the kids really was at my spot. But we just had, like, Big yard parties and like everything in my yard. So really, I was with the grown people. Like, I really just grew up watching, you feel me, like folks older than me. Okay. Yeah. And what type of uh, student were you in school? Were you like a good kid? Was you getting into trouble or, or was you out the way? <laughs> Man, to be honest, if I ain't caught skipping or nothing, I was really straight though. But on some, I was really out the way though, just chilling. Okay. And did you finish school? Did you go to college afterwards? Or? No, I graduated though, but I didn't go to college. Okay. And when would you say you jumped off the porch then? Like how old were you at the time? What I'm saying, like I've been off the porch to be honest, like, but like I knew what was going on in the street probably like 13, like cause they're like from growing up for like who my people was, like or, like what was, going, what was going on. Like I just was around grown people. So I knew what like, I knew what was going on in the street type shit. Yeah. And what would you say were like some of the trials and tribulations you had to overcome in your life so far? Oh yeah, fast though, like when I lost AK though, that really slowed me up. Then I had my baby, so. But like, AK, like that who was really like, putting everything in motion for me, like, you know what I'm saying? Like he my cousin, but like he was getting the job done. Like, okay. Yeah. He was your older cousin? Yeah. How much older was he? He like 15 years, he about four. How old AK would have been? Yeah, he like 40, probably like 12, yeah, oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. So what can you tell us about AK? Like, what type of person was he? Oh, he used to hoop, though, but in the street, like, them folk know who he is, though, like, you know what I'm saying, he would have any way. Yeah. But, yeah, he was really cool, though, like, they really like my idol, though, like, my idol. Like, because, like, everybody respect him, like, he, he fought with everybody and everybody fought with him, so, you know what I'm saying, like, he just really taught me how to move out here, like, I've seen what he was doing, so I really just, Trying to move how he moved type shit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How long ago did he pass away? He died in 2020, the end of 2020, December. Yeah. So how'd you deal with that? Like I said, that, that was your idol pretty much, yeah, you know? Yeah, fact though, like, that shit really fucked up. The city really honestly, like, cause like, it's so small and everybody like knew him. So like, I ain't gonna care. After, when he passed though, like, it gave me like a little drive. Like, I went on a run. Hmm. Like, I dropped on the road too. Like, then I went on a run, I got bud, like, I just started buzzing like more. So like it was great, but it's still like just know he was gone or that shit was really on some like that shit really had me fucked up. Yeah. But it was great. 
Yeah. So you'd be keeping his name alive, though, you know, through social media, even yeah, through fact. your music and everything, too, though, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah. More definitely. Uh, so how long have you been rapping? How'd you get into this at first? I already knew how to rap. Like, well, I started rapping really, though, like the end of my high school year. But like, I grew up around the studio anyway. Like, my dad, like, he, he, they had their own studio. So I was in the studio with them, like, or watching, like, my people, Cooley, or somebody, like, I was in the studio, just always in the mix. So I've been around the equipment, been around the studio. Okay. But I really started rapping, like, I'd say 2018, when I was in um, high school, but I started taking it serious, like once I graduated though. Like once okay. I, yeah. So I catch a little buzz. Now, were you dropping music back in like 2018, 2019? Or? Yeah, it was okay. some bullshit though, but like. <laughs> hey, nah, everyone got to start somewhere, Yeah, I don't want right? to say it was some bullshit now, nah, but folks still listen to it though, but like my old shit, I don't even want to hear that really, but <laughs> the folks still fuck with it though. Yeah. That, yeah. All right, so how would you describe your growth as an artist, you know, from when you first started up until today? Like? Yeah. Really, I had to find my sound, though, like, I was just dropping music, but once I got older, like, once I started putting out, like, this type of music, like, everybody was fucking with this flow, so I just really had to find my own style, my own little vibe, then had them started my own little way. For sure, yeah. man. And who were you, uh, like, who were some of your favorite artists when you first started rapping back in 2018, then? I ain't gonna care. I fought with Thug, Future, for sure. Um... To my around that time when I started rapping. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Future and Thug for sure. Okay. But I listen to like every artist though, like, mm-hmm. I be listening to it, like, I don't really just got no favorite artists either, so I'm just be all over the place. Okay. But I fought with Thug and Future for sure. Yeah. So was there like a turning point in 2020 that made you really start taking this shit serious then? Yeah, once I started getting a lot of show though, once everybody mm-hmm. caught on to the On the Road too, I just started buzzing <laughs> and I just started getting show. Like, shout out to the host too. And on um, my boy Vero, like, he put me in the loop for sure. Okay. Like, so, but I had, I started getting shows, started being on the scene more, like, started popping out. Yeah, yeah even before you had uh, On the Road too, you had that Gordon anthem. That yeah, shit fat, went up fat, too, yeah, man. Fat, I, yeah, fat. I had another one too, On the Road too, but that what really started On the Road. Hmm. Then, the first like, one? It's a sequel, yeah. Like, okay. I had On the Road, that what gave my, that what caught, I caught Buzz out On the Road, and then, did I make Gorn Anthem? I made Gorn Anthem after On the Road. So yeah, Gorn Anthem went up Okay. more than On the Road, honestly, though. Hmm. But I caught buzz from On the Road. All right, so talk to us about the first On the Road, like the, you know, the inspiration for the song and you know, the hmm. studio session for it, too. Around that time, when I had made that song, Crazy Thing Is, when I made the song, the microphone was backwards. So like the quality that they were looking for didn't even come out. But I tried to redo the song, but then it sound the same, so we just kept that one. Like, and the inspiration wasn't even really no inspiration for real. I was just in a geek. We yeah. just high in the studio. Okay. Kicking it. And does the song, like, take off as soon as you drop it, or what, what was the process with that? No, I had dropped a snippet on Facebook. Like, okay. And that bit went up on Facebook. Like, and then I just started, I started doing shows. Oh, like, you know, out that song, really. So what was that experience like being able to, you know, do your first few shows and all that? I ain't gonna count. The first couple of times I was nervous, but like, <laughs> I was like, fuck that, do who I am anyway. Like, I'm Mr. Poppy anyway, so you know what I'm saying? So I just really had to go and get in that mode, get in that drive to just, like, okay, I'm finna, you wanna rap, do what you finna do, you feel me? Like, so I just had to get back, I had to get in that mode. And you followed up with that Gordon anthem. Yeah, fat. The yeah. video went crazy. Everyone yeah. up there had the, you know, the yeah. COVID yeah. mask yeah, and everything. Fat. Yeah, around the time COVID hit too, though. Like, so we really weren't even doing that. We were just, if we weren't at the studio, we'll be at the spot doing something or just out the way. But I don't even know. I was just making songs then. Like, I had my own studio, so I'd make probably like five songs a day. Quality ain't nothing, though. But I still, like, I missed that song too. Did I? I think I did. I ain't gonna cap it down. I think I missed that one too. But around that time, we, I would just record probably like every day. We had our own studio, so I was just in the studio. Yeah. yeah. So what, what's the city's reaction when you drop that? Considering, you know, this is an anthem for the city, man. They My was anthem. all behind it. Man, them folks still play that right now. Like, I only like listen to it, though. Like, I don't like listen to none of my old music. Hmm. But them folks still fuck with it, though. Like, yeah, the video did really good, though, man. No, though, folks still be talking about that song, though. Yeah. Tell you. So then comes On The Road 2. Yeah, that bit that went crazy. I ain't going to cap it down. Yeah. Like, they, they caught on to that song slow, though. Like, I had dropped that song. Like, he died in December. So I dropped that song, like, 
January, but everybody picked up on it late. Hmm. But then when them folks picked up on it, that bit went up. Hmm. I dropped the video too, that bit went crazy too. That bit still going up to this day. That's only not two years, but that bit still the one, I tell you. Yeah, it's almost at 400,000 right now. Yeah. Right? No paid view, none of that. Like, no folk really fuck with that song. Yeah, you got people commenting on, like, man, I'm here two years later still. Yeah, fact, I want to say, drop a comment, man. Y'all go tune in on the road, too, if you ain't heard it. Tell you. Yeah. So did you expect that type of reaction? Like, did you expect this song to go viral like it did, or? No, nah, I really didn't. But, like, once it did, though, I already knew it one on one, so shit. I would be trying to make a song like that I can't even do. I just, like, when I made that song, I was just in that, I was in that mode. But yeah, that bit went up. Yeah. So how does it make you feel when you see, see that shit going up? Does it like motivate you? Like, all right, I oh, really yeah, need fact, to lock yeah, in fact, with like, this shit. I, I still like, I only like performing that song, but once I do though, like, like everybody know it. Like, but I really only like performing it no more, honestly. Hmm. But that shit really gave me a drive. Yeah. It got played on the radio too, right? Oh yeah. 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 Man, what, what's your reaction the first time you catch it on the radio then? That's a big milestone for any artist. I can't even say though, like, I, it was straight, like, I really didn't even care, care for the radio spin, really though, but I was just always connected with the DJ, but like, once I knew everybody was fucking with it, like, I just knew it was up, so really I didn't even really care for it being on the radio, to be honest. Like, okay. Uh, so, like, walk us through your creative process. Do you be writing your raps? Do you punch in? Do you do both or what? I really do both. Lately I've been punching in though, but going after my road that on the road too, I just make the hook in my head, and then I just punched in. Hmm. Like, so, it don't really take that long for me to make no song if I'm in that mode. Okay. And do you feel like you make your best music like when you're in a good mood, or you're pissed off at the world, or you're going through some real life shit, or? It really don't even matter, though, because once I get in there, like, it is what it is, and this shit gonna be the one. All right, so what's the music scene like in Gordon right now, today? It's straight, really ain't nobody really rapping, but like, my bros, some of the little bros called too though, I ain't gonna count. Like it's some upcoming little bro that I'm trying to make like take this shit serious for real. Like I be hearing them up like, like that shit hard. Yeah. But it ain't really too many rappers down there though. Okay. So is there like uh, any recording studios down there? Is it mostly at home studios or not really, but my little bro them, they got an in house studio, so I've been I've been fucking around with their little shit for a little minute. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now this is your first project since 2022, right? Yeah, fast. Yeah, so why the delay, man? Honestly, like, after I had my baby, I took a little break. Like, I was really on daddy, daddy mode, but like, I'm back in that mode now. That's why I call that motherfucker back in that mode. Like, I had to get that feel back. Like, I wasn't even going to the studio no more. Like, I was just, really just, if I ain't had no show, like, I was still getting booked for the On The Road 2 song. Like, so really, I was just straight out that, but like, um, so how, how you like being a father this past year then, man? Oh yeah, little baby spill, that my guy, like, it's cool, like, I'm fucking with it. Man. Yeah. Do you feel like your life has changed since you became a father? Like, your, you know, your mindset and all that? Yeah, like, he give me a drive, like, keep going, for sure. Like, if not anything, like, he give me a drive. Yeah. Now, I know the project's only been out less than a month, man, but, like, how's the feedback been since you dropped this? Them folk fucking with it, like, that Weather Man, I got a song called Weather Man, them folk eating up, like, hmm. I'm for eating that motherfucker off the flow, like, it one on the one. I feel like it probably gonna be the next one. I'm finna shoot a visual. I feel like it probably gonna be the next, like, probably the hot song I got. Oh, for real? Yeah. What can you tell us about Weatherman, then? I'm just popping it, like, I'm back in that mode. Like, I just, I'm walking that bit. Hmm. I tell you. Yeah, I fuck with that uh, all boy, man. That's yeah, all hard. boy, like, fuck, fuck with that, too, though. Hmm. I don't really like, like, when I, once I drop a song, though, I don't even really, like, listen to it no more. <laughs> like. But at Weather Man, like, I still be like, I play that bit right now. Like, once I drop a song, hmm. I don't even care to hear for it after I drop it. Okay. So you mentioned that'll probably be the next video then, or? Yeah. Um, I can't even say, like, I got so much upcoming, like, video that I'm finna do. But probably all, but I mean, Weather Man probably gonna be my next video, though. Okay. For sure. Yeah. And even talk about the title track on there, man, that back in that mode, that shit hard, too. Oh, yeah, fat, fat, fat. Like, all that shit hard, though, but I'm saying, like, once I drop it, like, I don't even be... <laughs> I don't be wanting to hear. I be ready to get feedback from the people. Like I be hmm. trying to see what the people like. Like, so once I see what the people like, then they just give me like, okay, they probably gonna be the next little song I need to push more. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. So what do your fans mean to you? You know, like I said, they ain't dropped the project since 2022, yeah. but they riding with you. Yeah, man. them folks still be tuning in though. Like I appreciate everybody who rocked me, support me, all that. Like, 
That shit mean a lot for real. Now with your fans on your ass during this hiatus, like bro, nah, Smithy, really, when yeah. you dropping, man? Yeah, the dropping? kids, especially on Instagram, like they be blowing my <laughs> inbox up. Like I gotta go quiet mode for sure. Like them folk be blowing my shit down. <laughs> Facts. Uh, did you have a personal favorite song on there? What, was what, it Weather Man? What um, talking about that last project I just dropped. Mm-hmm. I can say Weather Man and Deep in My Thought though. They're my favorite song. Hmm. Deep in My Thought, like I dropped that as a single, but. I would, through the process, I was dropping like, I wasn't dropping no project. I might drop a song here and there, like, just might drop a song one month, see how I do. And then drop another song, Go Ghost. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, but I ain't never just dropped no full project. But Deep in My Thought, it one on the one. Talk about that one. Talk about the inspiration, you know, the creative process for that one now. Late night, just, I was high hell for one. I was just really in the studio, Deep in My Thought, like, yeah, one of those nights. Yeah. Mm. Uh, so that, that Pretty Brown Rodeo, that shit hard too, man. You got yeah. that sample in there too. Oh, yeah, too. for the vibes, man. The vibe, check it out. Pretty Brown Rodeo, man. Get in with me. Yeah. Tell you. Well, producer, like, who made the beats and all that? Um, Kid Platinum. Okay. Yeah, Kid Platinum. Who up? Yo, about Kid Platinum. And, um, Roy Z. And on um, Lil Bro Avery. Yeah, Lil Bro Avery. Okay. Be hard too. And no features on there, right? It's just you? I got the guys on there. Okay, on the yeah. last song, that's right. Yeah. yeah. They on two songs, but they naming it one of the tracks. But oh, for real? Yeah, facts, facts. Which but one they was on? They was on the second song. I don't even know what it called. Ray Charles. Ray Charles. Oh, okay, facts, okay. Facts, facts, facts. Yeah, yeah. Now, is there any big artists you want to work with in the future? Like, if you could manifest some shit right here on the porch, man? Um, like, I ain't, it don't really matter though, like, I don't really too much care for working with artists, Eddie, like, really. Okay. But if it was an artist I could work with, right now, I'd say, like, I fuck with no cap. Like, that's artists I want to work with, though. Um, who else, who else? That really about it, though, like, I don't really too much care for features, for real. Okay. Why so? I mean, shit, I got here without no features, like, hmm. so I keep going. But like, I wouldn't mind having no feature though, but like, you ride this ship, saying till it sail. Yeah. Nah, I respect that, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So what's the current uh, label situation? You still independent right now? Yeah, I'm independent. Okay. Mm-hmm. Now, would you be interested in the signing with a label or like a bigger artist down the road too? Yeah, I wouldn't mind, because I know they'll give me like my career extra boost, like, like some more, you know what I'm saying, investments or something like you feel me? Like it'll, be, it'll be helpful. Okay. Mm-hmm. So what's some goals you got set for yourself for 2024 then? To be honest, we don't just need to shoot more video, more visuals. Like, these folk need to see this shit. They got to see this shit. So, like, just shoot more visuals. Yeah, because you ain't dropped a video in, like, yeah. six months, right? Nah, I, really, I just dropped a video, but I took it down, though. Which one? Back in that mode. Oh, had, for real? Yeah, I got the video, but why, I took it down. Why you take it down? Cause there's too much shit going on, like hmm. right now where I'm from. So like, I just had to take it down right now. That's it. But I might repost it though if I don't reshoot it. Like yeah. I got you, man. Fat, yeah, too much. Yeah, though. cause people want to see this shit, yeah, man. Yeah, fat. And, you know, more people probably discover you off of YouTube than like yeah. on the, you know the streaming platforms and everything mm-hmm. too, man. Yeah. Fat though. Right. So what else you working on right now, Smithy? What else coming up for you know fans should be waiting for? Really, just more video, like. Everybody just need to stay tuned, dropping videos. So like y'all tune in, more videos. Yeah. Now outside of music, what you be into? Like what's some of your hobbies and all that, man? Nothing really though. Like if I ain't with my baby, like I'm chilling with the guys or like on card or some shit. Like high playing the game, doing some out the way shit. Or go to we might go to the studio though. Walk off in the studio for a little minute. But I might go to the studio. Don't even drop nothing though. Do you feel like you had to be inspired to record some shit then, or? Nah, it's just like, I want to just might go to the studio, the bro might make a song, but like, I probably don't make a song this day. Like, it was just, you know, like that. Okay. You got a shout out you like to give? Lonely, AK, you know what I'm saying? Water Boys Spill, shout out to the guys, Hot Boys, my city, you know what I'm saying? Whoever rocking with me, my fans, I appreciate y'all. I'm saying. I'm taking drugs to eat it, pain, this shit ain't working. And don't know how to feel.
cause I just lost my dog. 